USA Mundo. Hello everybody, welcome back to Sunday Talk episode number 9 and today's episode uh, I'm going to talk about English, okay, learn how to speak English here in the United States of America. So uh, if you are new coming here in the United States of America, you know, you come from another country uh, where you speak uh, maybe your dialect, you speak French, you speak uh, Spanish or you speak different languages, you know that here in the United States of America, you can either speak English or Spanish, but today's video is about English, okay? So, um, you know, most of the time when we move here, you know, I wasn't, you know, I moved here to the United States of America also from Africa. Uh, some of you guys who've been watching me uh, for so long, you know that I'm from Africa. And, um, you know, where I'm from, you know, we were speaking French and uh, dialect, you know, before I moved to the United States of America. You know, I'm not <coughs> from, uh, excuse me, I'm not from a country uh, where we speak uh, English, no, I learned English here in the United States of America. But the thing is, uh, sometimes when we move here, we have a tendency to get around in our community, you know, talk to people in our community, maybe people we knew back home, or people we met here who are from the same country we're from, or who are speaking the same dialect we're speaking, and, uh, and then from there, we just uh, start speaking our, our dialect instead of uh, English. And every time we, you get around on those people or every time you meet those people, I don't think it's a good thing because um, when you do stuff like that, you're going to have problems to speak English because, uh, like I said, to work here, you have to speak English. You know, you're nobody going to uh, speak your dialect at work. You know, if you want to date somebody, you have to speak English to date somebody unless the person is coming from your on your country, you know, you have to speak English everywhere you go, you know, and don't expect American to learn your dialect to understand you, you know, if you want to talk to an American here in the United States of America, you have to speak their language, you have to speak English, that's why English is very important, so uh, I don't recommend people to, you know, keep, you know, uh, talking or, uh, uh, you know, having a conversation in their dialect every time, you know, they see you know, people from their country, which is normal, you know. Sometimes you want to do that because you've been speaking English every time and you want to, you know, at least, you know, once in a while talk to somebody in your dialect, maybe call um, people back home, your parents, your friends, your family members and talk to your dialect. But when you get around or, you know, or you, it's better to, to speak English or have a friend. Uh, American friend uh, who speak English or you know people from other country who speak English you know you that way you can practice your English English is something you have to learn every day even me myself uh, I learn every day you know uh, you, you you watch my videos and I make mistake you know I make a lot of mistake in my video when I speak in English but the thing is that doesn't stop me to keep learning or to keep improving myself uh, that's what I'm telling you you know if you are new coming here in the United States of America you want to uh, 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 succeed here in this country English is very important you know I understand uh, People speak, uh, I mean, Spanish is the second language here in the United States of America, even though English is the top, uh, is, the, is the first uh, uh, language uh, spoken here in the United States of America. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm recommending you to, to learn, learn English, learn how to speak English here in the United States of America. You know, sometimes I remember um, I used to work uh, at McDonald's, and uh, I have a lot of... Uh, Spanish-speaking people there, but they only speak Spanish, and they some of them don't even want to speak English, and I don't know why. If you talk to them in English, they be like, oh, they don't understand. And but you know, and then you know, not all of them. Like I say, some of them only speak Spanish, and uh, for for me, I was like, you know, they have to learn how to speak English. It's like they kind of afraid of English, and also I work with an uh, African who only speak dialect. When you speak them, when you talk to them in English, you know, they just like okay, they don't understand, but they're working. You know, some job requ doesn't require you to speak English, doesn't require you to. Uh, uh, be good in English, you know, it may be just a manual or something that show you how to do, you keep doing it, by the end of the day, you have to speak English, you have to know how to write, how to read in English, and all that, well, that will help you, if you don't know how to read English, how to write English, how to speak English, you won't go far uh, in this country, you won't go far, you know, 
and uh, it's 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 very important. Like I said, you know, I have friends when I was working at McDonald's also who only speak on uh, uh, their dialect because they have a friend or family members uh, who works on uh, in the same at uh, the same uh, location at McDonald's, and they rely on them to to speak their dialect to understand to you know kind of translate what it is in English to them. You know. It's understandable if you just move here. You know, it's hard. You know, it's hard to speak English when you just move here. But uh, after a year, two years, three years, you have to start speaking English. You have to better yourself. You know, when you first move, people understand that. You tell them you just move here, they understand it. You know, they will help you. They will maybe find a translator to help you. But two, three, four, or five years, oh, come on, you have to know how to to speak English. You know, and. Um, and uh, that's what I want to talk about today. I don't know if I have something else to say. Uh, yeah, because I want. To, yeah, because I uh, talking about being a newcomer. I remember when I first moved here, and um, you know, when I go and talk to people, you know, they 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 kind of act like they understand what I'm saying. Because uh, sometimes they be like, uh, "Well, what did you say? What? 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 You know, you know, people when you." Speak talk to them they don't understand what you're saying they might be like what what did you say or they might do like uh, maybe some kind of gesture like uh, you know uh, talk with, with you or talk to you with their hands you know instead of their instead of words so to show you exactly what they mean or what they're trying to say and that helped too and um, and I remember uh, I work with uh, a company and uh, like f five six years later and the manager was telling me that you you know what when you first started working here on uh, everything you're saying uh, i don't understand what you were saying the only thing i know that you just want to work you are a hard worker you want to work that's the only thing i understood on uh, when you're talking and then, uh, that's why i gave the opportunity and that was true you know don't expect people to understand you right away when you first move here but the thing is you have to learn english read you know do what you can you know to improve yourself uh, in English and uh, you know as a new comment here I'm not gonna make this video too long as a new comment here that's what you're gonna do you have to read you have to know how to write in English how to read in English and how to speak English it's very important if you want to succeed here in the United States of America I hope you like the video if you know somebody uh, who need to watch this video please share with that person and uh, thank you thanks for watching I will see you guys on next Sunday USA Mundo